Hello and welcome! You are gaming with me, Brothgar, and this is the Medieval Engineers, and you are looking at a bunch of stairs, and as you may have known or not known, I am working on a full inventory of items that you can basically copy and paste into your game and find all that stuff in the information below. However, when I was working on these stairs, I started to find limits of material. It started to happen in a way that I could get up to nine stories, but once I started to go beyond nine stories, things started to get really quite shaky and stuff was having a hard time staying together, which led me to believe that all things are created equal. So I went and tested this, and what I have here is a bit of a demonstration of the limit of materials, I've I have flown past it. All right, so right in front of me is basically all the different stone components stacked on top of each other and placed in an even amount. And as you can tell here, everything has the exact same scenario that is going on. Everything is basically 14 stories tall, which is basically the linear limit. And that's what I'm going to start calling this because if you start to think about what's really going on here, the weight of this object basically determines how much weight it can support. So if you stack the same amount of weight on the same amount of support, you can only go up 14 stories. So if you were to actually count this, this would be 14 stories tall, and no matter what the object is, it is always going to have the exact same result. Even if that object right now, which is, I'll have you know that this is the February 22nd build, so this might be different when you're watching it now, but if so, then I might have updated the video by then. At any rate, yes, even if they are angles and you stack them on top of each other, you have the exact same results. So, that's kind of interesting, but it does kind of open up a couple of different opportunities, because what happens if you start to, like, compound these materials together? Well, let me move on to my next example. Alright, so what we have here is this last tower I just built, and this is using a wall piece that I just rotate and place down twice in the same block. And as you can tell, I then rotate it and do it again and just keep on going up kind of like I'm stacking cards. However, once you get to the top here, again, you run into that same limit. Everything runs out at 14 tall. If I try to build much more on this, it's just going to simply fall down. If I really build any more pieces on any of these, they will crumble. So you start to run into that limit of stacking, again, the same weight on top of the same amount of structure. So, can you combine different blocks to overcome that 14 limit? Well, absolutely. All right, so here I have another structure, and as you can tell, I started off with just the basic blocks all the way up, and I went up several stages, and then I eventually switched to the point where I'm putting two walls down, and then another solid block. And as you can tell, I'm easily able to take this and go a little bit higher than everything else by compounding the different materials I'm using, basically making the structure lighter as I go taller because it doesn't need to support as much weight as it is not enough stuff is stacked on top of it and you can reduce the amount of weight that you're putting up high which means you can build higher so that really opens up the opportunities to really see just how well this is working however there does come a point where maybe there's a different structure that you want to build and how is it actually determining how much weight is present so there's an experiment I was able to run to determine that for this experiment, I'm going to have, again, three different pieces on the ground. I'm going to be one is just going to be the simple block itself, and the other is going to be that same piece of wall. Now, if I were to use this wall, place it down on one side, rotate it like this, and place it down there, we now know that that pretty much has about 50% of the mass that this one has. So you can pretty much determine that this here, realistically, should be able to hold seven of the solid blocks on top of it before it becomes unstable. And if you go it up to eight, it should overload the structure. Now, what happens when we start to do something like this? Maybe we take two walls, place it down like this, and determine that, you know what? Maybe I wanna be able to have that full square box look, but without all the mass. So what I do is I rotate around the wall two more times and create a hollow structure like this. Let me get that out of the way. So. Now, if I were to take this and crudely measure this out, I would basically determine that there would be one, two, three, four blocks wide and four blocks tall. So that in turn would basically mean that this here has 75% of the mass as compared to the solid block over here, which means it should be able to support 10 to 11, which is actually 10.5 if you were to do the math. So it should be able to support either 10 or 11 different blocks on top, which means it's either going to be 11 or 12 stories tall. 
So let's run the experiment here and see just where things max out. This over here is our control, basically the linear limit. So if you were to think about linear limit, it's just the one to one ratio of weight and mass. So we don't need to do all the math stuff. We're just gonna do it the good old fashioned way of nice show and tell visual aid. And that's a much better way to do math in my opinion. All right, so how much have I stacked on here? One, two, three, four right now. So a couple more. This is going to be five, six now. And as you can tell, that is starting to get weak down there. And here we go on to seven. And as you can tell, that is pretty much going to be the limit. It is really quite red right now. If I were to go one more, I would expect that to break. Um, but we'll give that a test here a little bit later. However, this is now eight. And what we're expecting this to be able to get up to is going to be nine. 10. We should be able to support that. Looks like we can go on up to 11 now. And there you have it. I'm able to support 75% of the weight, aka 11 structures on top of this guy right here, as opposed to this guy, which can go up to the full, you know, 13 structures on top, aka 14 structures tall. So there you have it. The mass is determined by how much rock basically there is in this quadrant right here. So you can basically kind of, if you're really wanting to get all mathy about it, you could determine just exactly how strong each item is. Or you can basically put it down and stick a large block on top and figure it out that way. All right, so here I have all the objects placed before me. And what I'm going to do is basically put the fat mass right on top of them. And we will see just how well each one of these structures perform under what is basically the standard for, uh, Wait. So there you have it. The arch is going to do quite well. And as you can see it, it seems to be able to stack pretty good. And we're just going to stack it until it turns red. And hopefully we don't end up going over this a little bit too much. Yeah, that looks like it's about it. And we'll see just how far each one of these structures can go. No, no, oh no. Woo. I got greedy with that one. Oh, do you think we can stack a full thing on top of a single column? Uh, nope. Answered that one. <laughs> well, there's your result there. How about this guy? Nope. Now here's an interesting one because this is basically half a block. Therefore, I should only be able to basically do six of these. Nope. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Well, here's the problem that I've run into. <laughs> uh, who saw this and thought this was gonna happen? Yep. Okay, that happened. My beautiful structures have fallen. Let's hear it for quick load. We're back. <laughs> so that does kind of bring up an interesting point. As you would think, this has 50% of the mass inside of it. However, I'm only able to create four blocks on top of it before it starts crumbling. Hmm, interesting. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to say about that. However, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. It's an interesting result. It's an unexpected result, is what it is. However, we have stacked some things up and watched stuff crumble and sort of got an idea of how strong things are based on how tall their stack is. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. You have some sort of reference. And what I'm basically looking to do here is basically make a pad that you can then paste into the ground and you would have some sort of physical reference of how strong each component is. So then you can look over that. It's like a material strength index, right? That'd be pretty cool. I think I'll make one of those. At any rate, if you were to take this sort of concept, which we have different materials that can support different amounts of weight, like I said, we can kind of exploit that and make it tall, but how far can we exploit that? Well, let me introduce you to the tallest object I've ever built thus far, and then we'll try to beat it. Look at uh, how tall that is. It's so tall that it's actually inside the ground even before it starts registering. Yeah, let me paste it again. Unpasteable, it is so large. Is it really? I actually don't know what's going on here because the ground is here, and it's, and it's broken. I've broken the game. I've built a tower so tall. 
Well, let me just start over and <laughs> and uh, build this one again. I think that was like 25 structures tall. All right, so we're going to start ourselves off with a nice, solid foundation. Everything is better with a nice, solid foundation. Everything. We're going to make this about three, oh, yeah, I would say about four tall. But now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find what is basically going to be my next strongest material, which is going to be that... Uh, rounded piece so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna you know, bring this up a little bit I don't want to go too high so maybe just to where it's starting to get a little bit yellow and at that point I'm going to come over to what is my next strongest material and maybe I'll place a couple of those down and I believe that's going to be the inside yep as you can see here that has a little bit more strength inside of that so I'm going to take that and place that down how about two of those? And that should be pretty good. Maybe three? No, I'm thinking just two. That's going to be good. We bought ourselves about four stories there. That should be pretty good. The next strongest material besides that um, is actually going to be the full arch. And I'm going to put three of these guys down. There we go. Look at that. We're getting pretty close to the top and we haven't even gone out of yellow. I'm thinking that's pretty good. And as we go up and we put these lighter objects on top, these lower objects are not turning darker all that fast. So it appears as if just the basic wall here is going to be my next logical step. Although I could, I suppose I could really cheat and use one of these things, but I'm not, I'm not too sure about those. Let's go ahead and throw one in there for the sake of it. Ah, scratch that. I'm not a big fan of those. Those just seem a little bit too cheaty for me. So I'm going to go ahead and place this wall down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on two sides. And we'll continue this up. Still doing pretty good down low. I wouldn't think we're doing all that bad. Placed a couple double walls now. And now I probably want to continue up with a single wall for the next three. And look at how tall we're getting right now. Maybe I should have uh, continued that a little bit more. You can see this one here is right about the same darkness as the very bottom. I think at the end, all of these, if you did it just right, they should all be the same darkness. I don't know. That's what my brain's telling me. And it's not always right. So now that I've placed a couple of those walls there, I'm going to want to continue on with something that is not quite as strong. I think I might jump to this structure right here and move on up with that. Place another three of those now. This is getting tall. <laughs> and now I'm going to jump quickly on over here to the small archway, or maybe it's a, actually, I think this one's a doorway. And this is really quite light compared to everything else. We're doing all right. Place three of those down. How about four? Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, now, what I should just do is jump on over to my beams. And we will continue up even higher now. Now, we can do this number where we actually add twice to it if we wanted to. We'll do that for the sake of actually creating some sort of wall. This is all basically some sort of standardized wall there. <laughs> and we're doing pretty good. Let me just count this up real quick. One. All right, I am 25 stories up, so I have now matched my current best. Let's just see how far I can take this now. 26, still going up. 27, 28. 30, 30 and still going, 31, <laughs> I'm just going to copy this, 32, 33, 34, <laughs> 35, 36, Oh, the beams are starting to get a little tired now. I might have to actually go down there and reinforce those. 
37? Man! Oh, one more and I'm done. The archway's letting me down, but the base is holding up. Oh, everything is falling. Ah. All right, so I am 38 stories tall. And as you can see, there are some parts of this structure that are a little bit weaker than others. So, here's, here's the game plan. Because I feel if I go any more, if I go to 39 now, it's simply going to break. However, what if I do this number? I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm trying it. <laughs> I just want to reinforce something. Oh, does it work this way? Oh, it won't let me do this. Oh, oh no. I'm thinking that actually didn't do anything. Well, I certainly can't delete it. So, so, so. So here's when you just kind of do this number. No, I can't do that. Ah! Nothing. It didn't change a thing. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, make something better! I am doomed! Ah! Uh, well, you want to see 39 fall down? We might as well do it. Here we go. <laughs> we'll try to try to get a little ways away from it. Going for 39. What? What? It's still going. Can we do a 40? Oh, there it goes. 39 was my maximum. <laughs> well, still, that is far and above the 14 linear limit. And there you have it. I was able to at least build up that to 39 stories and it looks like the top broke off so I can actually go and if I wanted to I could just kind of go crazy and put something a little bit stronger there if I wanted to but at any rate guys thank you for watching I hope this gives you a lot of really creative ideas and a lot of very informative things again if I have that material strength index thing it's going to be in that information section below on the YouTube channel and you can find it there. At any rate, guys, thanks for watching so much, and I will see you next time. If you have a crazy physics-defying, like, build that you want to show me here, you can go ahead and leave that in the comment section below, and you might just end up in one of my future episodes. Thank you guys for watching again. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.